you know, we the mud guys are always going to say mud is better than air, and the air guys are always going to say air is better than mud. You know, air rotary, air hammer, foams, mud rotary, you know, unbalanced systems, you know, different types of fluids that we're running. What what it really comes down to is we want the drilling method, and you're you're gonna roll your eyes right now. I know this, but the one with the least amount of impact to our borehole that gets us the right amount of production and that we end up being able to extract the water or minerals or information that we need out of the hole. So where do we find our air drillers? West of the Mississippi, you know, deeper water tables. Where do we find our mud rotary guys? High water tables, sands and gravels, drifts, you know, unconsolidated zones that if we go in, the application comes back to what can the geology take for force, right? So if I'm in rock and I can run a hammer, beautiful. But if I try to run 1150 CFMs in a high water table, what's going to happen? Water's going to come out of the ground. If I go with mud rotary and I get into that rock and it's got fractured formations and I keep losing my mud, it doesn't work. So it's the right rig, the right tooling, the right method for the right geology and then it's being able to utilize both. So if I'm a mud guy, I want to learn everything I can about air. And if I'm an air guy, I want to learn everything about mud. You guys can come into the middle of this middle school dance and stop sitting on the bleachers and we can all have a discussion about your both good drillers and that we can be productive on either side of the Mississippi.